Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for the first trailer since Comic Con. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I'm very excited. Last night I posted like a short little trailer reaction, so hopefully you guys have checked that out. You got my initial thoughts if you watched that. I really like this trailer. It's short but sweet. And it teases quite a lot and we've got a lot to talk about in this video and I'm very excited to go over it with you. So we're getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. We're actually nearly just about a thousand away. We're about 1,100 so it would be highly appreciated if you share this video around, share my channel around so we can reach for that goal very very soon. Okay so let's go ahead and get right into this trailer breakdown. So the first shot we see and I think this is actually... A mishmash of some of the future episodes could be one two and three I don't specifically know but I'm gonna presume for now most of this is at like the end of episode one because we know a lot of stuff to do with the monitors going to be happening at the end of episode one and this trailer is very much so about crisis and what's to come so the first shot is Jay Garrick's helmet I don't know if it's specifically Jay's actual helmet or if it's like a duplicate or one they've just found or something like that but Barry has his helmet on and there are cables connected to his helmet. But what are these cables, you know, used for? Is it, you know, to jump start somehow his visions because he talks about his visions. We'll talk about what he actually says in the trailer in a minute, but I'm not sure. It's definitely some sort of way to spark a reaction inside Barry, maybe because he's part of the speed force. Maybe that is, you know, some sort of reason as to why he needs that cable to sort of spark these visions. And so, not sure why he's specifically using that helmet. Maybe it has special properties. Maybe it's not the Jay Garrick helmet we know. Maybe it's something, you know, more special than that. But anyway, so he's strapped down and it seems like this is actually Nora. Because if you scroll through the trailer, you can see her clothing is very much so this. So it seems like his mum, whatever version of his mum it is, and we'll talk about that in a minute once we get to that shot. He's being strapped down by her. And it seems she is connecting the cables to him. So with his mum, or you know, whatever version it is, being the one doing that, what is she doing? Why is she doing that? Is she working for the monitor? Is she bad? What's happening? It doesn't seem like she's going to be bad because if she was bad, she wouldn't be giving Barry the visions like on purpose because that would be kind of stupid. So anyway, let's move on to the next shot. And so this next shot we get to see Barry fully strapped down. His head is actually, you know, strapped. It's got like some sort of belt and he has the helmet on top. He has the wires connected to him. It looks like he's in a sort of Zoom-like chair. If you remember back to when Zoom was first revealed to be Hunter Zolomon, he was getting tortured essentially and it reminds me of that. So he's fully strapped down and he's in, you know, some sort of chair of sorts. Not sure if it's a torture chair. I don't think it's him getting tortured. But he is strapped down to this table because what he is seeing is visions of what is going to happen in Crisis. And it seems like he's freaking out. His eyeballs are like poking out way too far. And so with this, it seems like maybe he could be being forced to watch this. I don't think he's done it on purpose unless Nora, you know, whatever version of his mum has warned him about Crisis and has said, you have to do this. And he, you know, accepts it. Then Barry goes on to say in the trailer, he says this specific line, we can't stop what's coming. So he's seen some sort of flashes of the future. I'm not sure if we'll specifically be able to see those flashes. Maybe one or two shots that just sort of spark up on the screen. But I believe that he's seen, obviously, the deaths. We'll talk about that in a sec. And the different futures. But also, I think... He's going to see the anti-monitor in this and maybe we might get our first look at the anti-monitor. And so at the same time, like just right after, Barry says, I saw billions of possible futures and he saw billions of people die. We'll talk about the deaths in a minute, but he saw billions of possible futures. That meaning he's seeing the future. He's seeing all these different iterations. So he sees how it goes down in these alternate realities of whatever they do leading up to crisis. And he sees 
the destruction of what the anti-monitor is going to cause in the upcoming crisis and so I think this is going to be a heavy focus going towards crisis in that Barry has seen the future he's seen all these possible futures and what's going to happen with the incoming crisis I think although you're going to have blood work and stuff the main focus of himself and you know the season is going to be leading towards crisis and what can they do to repair similar to how they knew iris was going to die because they traveled to the future they saw flashes of the future with savitar i reckon it's going to be something like that because they know crisis is coming he knows the flashes of what's going to be happening in the future because he's seen it via these visions so I reckon it's going to be kind of similar in their preparation to try and do that, but Barry's going to be thinking about Crisis mainly, I reckon, in the first part of the season. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. So we get a shot of Star Labs exploding. It just sort of emphasizes the chaos that will be caused and the chaos that's coming, obviously, with Crisis. I don't know if this is a new shot or not. It could be just one that they've used from the past and they just put it in the trailer just to emphasize, you know, the chaos of what's going to happen. But move on and there's a shot of Caitlyn using her frost powers she's at a computer it seems like she's freezing a keyboard so I'm not really sure as to what's going on but definitely Cisco is sitting next to her so yeah I have no idea of the importance of that but then we move on to the big shot this is one of the best shots of the trailer because we get to see Nora Allen the person who was connecting the spark wires or you know the plugs to Barry's helmet well to Jay Garrick's helmet but onto Barry and so, is this really Nora Allen? She looks very different from normal Nora Allen. And how can you tell this? You can see it from the hair, because this hair seems to be very dark, although they're in the dark. You would tell if it was ginger, or if it was very, very light, like it was normally when we go to the time travel scenes where we see her getting killed. So, I don't believe this is normal Nora Allen. I think this is... It could be Flashpoint Nora Allen. That is a possibility that maybe she has been saved I don't know kind of looks similar in the hairstyle of things however I would say more likely than not it could be a manifestation of the speed force or it could be this version of Nora Allen where the monitor has placed him or it could be Nora in one of these possible futures I would say more likely than not is either the speed force because you know we've seen the speed force manifest itself as Nora before or it's the monitor because the Speed Force would be aware of what's going to happen, I'm sure of it. So it would make sense if that happens. And the Monitor, if he put his trust in Barry and he knows, you know, he trusts his mum. And so he, you know, gets a version of Nora to come. And this is where she shows him the future and warns him of what's to come. So it most definitely is not a flashback because this is a new scene. We know that Barry's there as well. So, more likely than not, it's not time travel. So we'll have to wait and see as to what the specifics are to how the scene is going to work. But they are going to be together in the scene and it doesn't look like it's going to be normal Nora Allen in flashbacks or time travel. Okay, so moving on to the next shot, you see Barry crying as he says, billions of deaths. So this is when he's seen all these possible futures and he sees these deaths and he sees the aftermath and the chaos of what's going to happen. So you see some tears trickle down his face this is most definitely at the same place it has that green lighting and so when he says billions of deaths he's crying and he seems to not be in star labs i don't know specifically where they are but what has he seen and whose deaths has he seen there's going to be obviously some massive deaths in crisis so is barry going to really die is he going to see himself i don't think he's going to cry if he sees himself dying because you know he would be doing his heroics so i don't think it's that but I believe he sees some of his friends and, you know, partners die. So whether that's Oliver or Iris or Caitlyn or, you know, Supergirl or, you know, anyone that he has interacted with and he's friends with. And it makes it all that more personal. And I don't think if he saw billions of deaths and, you know, everyone else died and it was just his family, I don't think it would have that much of an emotional impact compared to if say Iris died or Oliver died or Kara died you know stuff like that I think that is going to make it more personal and are we going to see some flashes of these deaths I think there is a possibility I would like to see it is he going to see like himself die like just sort of disintegrating like he does in the comics in crisis 
I think there will be some very interesting stuff to, you know, put in the first episode to tease for the upcoming crisis. And so let's move on to talk about the next photo. The next shot is actually really cool. I really like this. This is of him in CCPD. He's in the new flash suit. It looks really good. He's running in the department and it seems like it's dark and empty. So there's some sort of battle here. Maybe it's blood work. I'm not sure. And so it's our first look at him in motion. And I got to say, I'm a big fan of this. I really do like this. Although I said I had a few queries with the texture of the suit, I think it looks really good in action. Obviously, it's just a small bit, but yeah, I'm digging it. And especially just so happy they got rid of that cow that they used last season. This new one, damn, it looks so much better. And this makes me very, very excited. Okay, so one of the last shots of the trailer is of Joe. This is a similar one to what we got in the past trailer at Comic-Con. And it has his hands over his mouth. And you see him some sort of thing in the air because he's looking, you know, kind of far up. So is it some sort of destruction? Is it a villain? Not sure. But it's most likely going to be Godspeed because Godspeed's in episode one. And I think, although they haven't included Godspeed in the promotional photos or like, you know, in any of the trailers, he is going to be the episode one villain. And then I reckon Bloodwork will come in and all the crisis stuff will happen towards the end of the episode. So very excited to see Godspeed around. Hopefully we get a new look at him and hopefully he gets to stick around further than just episode one. But yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. We are very close now. Thank you for the support on the last few videos. It's been really good. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.